Hi, what is up? A long time, literally no vlog. Like I have not vlogged in probably uh, like coming in about two months and for this channel banner to say vlog this more, I have not delivered at all in the vlogs department of things. I've been posting videos as much as I can because for the past like two, two and a half months, I've just been so I don't want to say depressed, I don't want to say in a slump, I don't want to say in a funk because I've been doing a lot of things, I've been having a lot of good time but I've just not been inspired to vlog, like I did not really, I was just so not inspired to vlog and even even though I was not inspired to vlog, I was very very, like I was longing to vlog and I guess this is what we're doing today, I don't really know the purpose of this vlog, I don't know what the title of the vlog is going to be but it's just like I wanted to vlog, I missed vlogging and I was like I need to get back my inspiration, I need to get back my spark and I need to get back my drive to vlog because I used to vlog literally all the time and I was supposed to post only vlogs for like a particular period of time and now I've kind of in a way niched myself down to booktube but I don't want to niche myself completely so here we are back at the vlogging game it is a hot coffee day because as you guys can hear in the background it is raining monsoon is here i am i could literally die from happiness because if you guys know and if you've been on my channel for any amount of time in the past few months you know that i kind of in a way suffer from summertime depression like i am so miserable in the summer and for summer to be officially over and it to be monsoon it to be raining consistently i'm just so fucking happy like it's not hot anymore I am sweaty and sticky because it's monsoon and it's humid as fuck but I'm not hot anymore and I'm just so happy and there is always some sort of breeze going on because it's rainy and I'm just so happy I'm just so fucking happy that it is monsoon you know what let's just pick you guys in the hand and talk like this because I I miss this I miss holding the camera in my hand and just talking about random shit and just making somewhat of good videos out of it rather than just having outlines and particular themes and uh, particular like objectives of videos um, I just want to do this I want to just talk whatever the fuck I want and have you guys be okay with it I try to brainstorm what sort of vlog I should do like maybe a productive day in my life but I, <clears throat> I'm not being like conventionally productive I could do like a to-do list day vlog I used to do that a lot but i don't really have a lot on my to-do list today rather than like few important big things i could do like a spiritual practices vlog but i've been out of touch with them for the past two months i've not done a lot of it and like literally every single area of my life it's kind of in a shamble it's kind of in shambles wait let me sit you guys down let's talk about this because let's talk about this because i need to get it out of my chest i need to get it out of my system just been back in my mind bothering me but I've just not been paying that much attention to it but like um, like as a whole my life looks very good right now but it is kind of in shambles actually not shambles like nothing is wrong or nothing is going south but like everything is just in kind of in a way filling in the blanks era right now like all the things are happening like things are happening and I am getting better and i'm doing a lot of things but they are still not in they've still, they've still not come into fruition so it's kind of in a way like a very snoozing type of era of my life i've been very like disinspired and inspired at the same time or you could even say like much you could say much clearly that my inspiration like the way i get my inspiration is changing and like there is a lot of change which was happening back like two months back and stuff and I was at first really excited for it and I was very very looking forward for it but later on I guess the anxiety kicked in like everything is changing and I kind of in a way defaulted I used to say like oh I've, I've done so much manifesting and I've done so much like so much like mind work like if I don't do anything for a little while everything will fill out and it is true everything is filling out but I just don't feel that drive I, I just don't feel that energy in me anymore and I've, I'm like longing for that energy I've not done my meditations in over two and a half months I've not done any sort of like consistent journaling 
for a really long time i'm not done any sort of like manifestation gratitude like spiritual journey journaling for a long time i'm not i'm not like been in touch with my like spiritual side which i was like very heavily working on over the past few months i am like plateauing now and i need to just switch it up or i need to just uh, double down and get get deeper into it and that is something i want to do but i'm just not finding the drive there are so many days where i just want to sit in my bed curl up with a book and just devour it but i don't even do that like i end up just sitting in my bed with my phone my screen time has been like absurdly high like my active screen time has been so so high i don't even want to say it out loud because i am literally ashamed of it I, yeah i don't know how to feel about a lot of things i just need to get my mind clear and i've tried to get like out of my funk like i have a specific to do list and checklist of things which i do which help gain some which help me get some clarity but i've done those and i've still not gotten them and i just feel like i know like i don't vlog for two months straight and then i come back with like a super depressing vlog i i don't even know if i'm going to post this anymore like i'm just going to film edit it and just get it out of my system i don't care about any of the views or any of anything if it helps anyone if anybody feels seen if anybody comments i'm happy but if anybody does not even if like when you upload a video like you get like a ranking for the past 10 videos like where the where that video stands in comparison to the past 10 videos even if this video is like a 10 out of 10 like the lowest the ranking it can get i don't give a fuck like i just need to get it out of my system there's not going to be a lot of editing on this one because editing vlogs take a significantly longer time but i'm just going to like sew all of the i'm just going to sew all of the clips together maybe cut out some absurdly long rants or passages and like gauges like what the fuck do i say now that type of stuff and i'm just going to post it I guess that is all I have to say for now. Like my room is like messy like all of my like my like my outfit when I came back from my morning classes. On my bed, my bag is over here. I need to get all of my things in order. And yeah, I don't know when I'll see you. I don't know when. I don't know how I'll see you. I don't know how you guys will see me, but yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, this feels good. Like this to be honest like this exact motion like me saying something and me sipping my coffee and then putting my hand to the camera just to turn it off it just weirdly feels so much like home i need to get back to this because i i've literally missed you like i've missed vlogging so much i missed vlogging so much and i might cry like you can see like i can i'm starting to form tears in my eyes because i've missed vlogging so much it is much 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 later i've just spent the last few not few the last hour or so watching videos on youtube and then i don't know why i just took a look at my channel and took a look at all of the videos which i've posted over past few months like all of the vlogs when i was posting vlogs like two months back and i realized why i stopped vlogging was because my life was very like very boring like i all of my vlogs looked the same like there was nothing like interesting going on i think so i came to that realization two months ago as well and i kind of stopped vlogging and at the same time my book videos were getting a lot of views that time so i was like why not make more book videos and get like a niche audience like get like a audience i was like very frustrated with myself because i feel like that frustration comes from the fact of me realizing but not acknowledging that my life is very it's not boring but it does not have anything interesting going on like i i am in my room all day or otherwise i'm taking classes i don't go out i have very few friends i don't i i'm not able to travel like i love traveling but i'm not able to travel a lot of the times i see all of these bloggers like i really love watching vlogs and i watch vlog i watch vlogs like every single day and there is always something or inter something interesting or something or the other interesting going on in these people's lives and i just don't have 
anything of that sort going on in mine and I don't feel jealous or anything I just feel like I could do better like I need to like spice up my life but I don't know how to spice up my life like this is gonna be like a very rambly vlog because I feel like I'm just coming to realizations and I'm just like finally acknowledging everything that has been going on in the back of my mind which I have to which I had chosen to ignore just for the sake of being positive or just like looking at the good stuff but I just need to get out there and start doing something interesting point of this clip is right now I am deciding to get off my phone and YouTube and just sketch out some interesting video ideas for the next few weeks for the next month I you want to see something uh, this my bullet journal will give you guys like a pretty good uh, idea of how my June has been my June starts over here monthly log slash events appointments nothing is filled out videos to post content calendar have not filled out books I've read this month I've read nine books but I did not fill it out notes slash reminders plus reflections did not write anything this is my goals plus plans I did not take any of it and this is just like an extra blank page then this is Friday June 3rd June 6th June 11 slash 12 it was the weekend June 16 June 17 June 20 June 21 June 22 23 24 25 and then we directly have June 30 like I've literally not done anything like I've been so unproductive and unmotivated like I used to write in this every single day I used to make like these really not elaborate but I used to make very how can you say like I used to make very like trackable and productivity increasing spreads in my journal and I used to fill in I used to fill them out and then I used to make sure that I was able to take all of them out and it just has not been that fun I this is my Google Calendar. I tried to schedule a lot of filming challenges, if you guys can see, but I did not film any of them. I scheduled a lot of things over here to film and to make videos about, but I just did not end up doing anything. Now, today is Monday, so I think so. I am gonna start planning out this week. There are a lot of videos which I wanna film. Like, those are book videos, and I don't mind filming them. I, like, love. I love my book videos because I, I genuinely do love reading and making videos on books. That has been like such a major part of my life that like books have become my life for the past month or so. I just need to have a life. I need to have a life. Like I need to have a life. Like there's no other explanation for it. I am slacking so much in life in general. I am, I have a lot of goals in all aspects of my life, but I'm not working on a huge chunk of them like i've put on like at least 10 cages in the past three four months like ever since i back ever since i got back from goa i stopped following my regular diet and i've just been eating like shit it's definitely showing on my body and i've not like worked out and i'm not stretched and done my uh, done like any sort of like yoga type of stuff because I dance a lot and my classes are like very much back in full swing. I'm teaching how many classes? So today I told you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I'm teaching 13 classes this week and for the past few, for the past two months I've been teaching like at least 10 classes every single day and uh, every single week uh, i've been teaching 10 classes every single week and uh, my body is working out a lot and i've not taken care of it the bell is ringing i'll just see who it is i've not i've not taken care of myself i'm not i'm not taking enough protein intake and stuff so i'm just gonna plan out the entire week try to schedule some fun stuff some like interesting stuff in my life and the i'm just gonna quickly wrap this up because our housemaid has come and she's gonna wash the dishes now so there's gonna be a lot of clatter in the background which is gonna make filming impossible so 
yeah I, as i was saying i'm just gonna try to plan out and think of things which i can do which had which won't cost a lot of money and just try to create some sort of interesting mix to make my life more interesting not for the sake of my vlogs or for the sake of the content i make just for the sake of my sanity I just spent the last half an hour or so journaling. I journaled for like three, almost four pages. And you know what? I actually feel very, very, I actually feel much like lighter in a sense. But at the same time, um, I was just like going through my Google calendar and my planner. And as I said, like I was trying to schedule in some fun things to do. and. I th like when I was doing it I I just like I kind of realized like how stupid that is because like I realized like how stupid that sounded because like you cannot just schedule fun things and stuff like I just need to be much more like spontaneous outgoing and I need to do things in the spur of the moment rather than planning them out and stuff it's very like it's very confusing and if I think a lot more about it, I will just literally break down and start crying. I don't know, like, I don't know how to process this. And I just have been putting, acknowledging and just even giving attention and thought to all of the feelings and thoughts which I have been feeling like th all of these thoughts for the past two months. And now that I decided to pay attention to them, like all of it is just very very overwhelming right now like i don't know what to do i just like wanna close my eyes take a nap and when i was journaling i i was i wrote like i am stuck in a rut i am at a place where i'm just waiting for things to fill in and then i can enjoy life and i also wrote like i realized as soon as i wrote it what went wrong like i'm waiting for things to fill in and manifest so that I, so I am in a sense manifesting more waiting. I, I just need to just like get, I just need to go out and just live. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like my mind is just very scrambled right now. I'm trying to schedule as a thing, like a enjoyable thing every single day in my Google calendar. And for today I scheduled like a self-care day and I could do like face masks and like exfoliate my entire body and that type of stuff. And for tomorrow I scheduled like go and work out of a cafe. And when it came to, I went to the next day, Wednesday, and I could not think of anything. Like I could not think of anything which I could schedule. Like, and that is when I realized like, I need to like be okay with being in a routine rather than feeling I need to make it feel like it's a routine and not like a repetitive rut and I just need to find little moments which make make my day like a bit special than what is going on and I need to like bring out that creativity and bring out that newness in what I do every single day like I have also been very stuck in my Zumba classes like essentially I've been just using the same playlist over and over and I honestly like two weeks ago I, I came to a realization like I am not really enjoying taking my classes anymore because I was just te going teaching the same warm up same like 10 12 songs teaching the same cool down and just coming back home and I was in this place like about two years ago not two like three years ago or so and I, at that time what really took me out of it was just switching up the songs which I taught switching the, switching up the playlist and the teaching style which I had and I just need to do that again so 
I just need to choreograph some new routines to some new songs and then we'll be all set and I just need to have change in the regular aspects of my life for example I was just like laying on my bed while journaling and I just glanced up and looked at my vision board over there and I was like I'm not really feeling this vision board anymore I have had these goals on the vision board for so much like for so long I've had these images on my vision board for so long I just need to switch it up a little bit so I think so I am gonna create a new vision board on my on my laptop or on Canva and maybe print it out and paste it over there or I might even just like switch up and just do like a simple artwork type of print and put it over there and have the vision board on my laptop and just switch up the images every now and then and not like change my goals every now and then just uh, switch up the images which reflect the goal for example I have over here an image of Apple products like because I want to manifest a MacBook and iPad and stuff so I've had the same image for the past like two years I might find a different image and post it over there so I just like switch up the images and just like have a refreshed perspective because how can I say this like if you are into like energies and that type of stuff for the past two months or for the past like two three months have been focusing much more on the receiving side of things it's much more like feminine energy aspect of it and I need to stop not stop I need to just like increase like the masculine energy of it and just like grind and get shit done I've been just waiting and waiting and waiting and that's what I realized like I've been waiting so that waiting is turning into more more waiting and it is turning into more waiting so like I've been reading the power of now and like to be honest time does not exist everything I want already exists so might as well pretend that it already exists and just go from there and start acting from that place that is like a big breakthrough which I had today and like honestly feeling all of that anxiety and just feeling very overwhelmed was very worth it so I don't know what I want to do today anymore like specifically when it comes to this vlog like I like i don't know like i'm just gonna probably have some lunch i don't know what i'm gonna do for lunch yet then i'm gonna take a nap because i like fucking need it i just need it. i don't i can't stay up anymore and then i'm just gonna go and take my evening class and come back home read a little bit and go to go the fuck to sleep like this vlog like this vlog video like whatever this collection of clips has like a single message which is like my life has been very very boring for the past two months i've been stuck in a rut and i don't know how to live anymore and i just need to get i just need to come back to life to be honest like i need to come back to life because every day has been feeling just the same that is all i want to vlog today i don't want to vlog anything else i i'm just like very exhausted now i am gonna go now do all the things like comment subscribe i'll see you very soon